fashion isn't the only sector in which the buying power of the international Muslim community is making its presence felt. And the global market for halal food is forecast to exceed 2.55 trillion US dollars by 2024. This isn't surprising when you realize just how delicious and varied the menu can be. And the Halal Food Expo offered a tasty spread. On arriving at the venue, Kriya decided that she would allow herself to forget about counting kilojoules for the day. One of my guilty pleasures in life is food, especially good food. And I love coming out to markets when I can experience something new and different. Today I'm at the Halal Food Expo, where people are experimenting with halal ingredients in a new, interesting way. Let's go check it out. This was the perfect opportunity for micro enterprises to market themselves, as the event organizer explained. Abdul Haq, an amazing event. Tell me, where did the concept come from? Basically, we saw a rise in the home industries that were popping up all over town, and they didn't have any infrastructure in terms of websites, apps, advertising platforms, or any way for them to take the business to the next level. So we decided why not get all these businesses under one roof, in one place where everyone can come, come and visit them all at once. What exactly is halal? The way the animal is slaughtered. It's not tortured, it's not sick, it's not missing, missing a lamb or anything. And when it's slaughtered, it's slaughtered with the uh, name of Allah. So that's when it's classified as halal. What can people expect when coming to an event like this? Only food. You're going to walk around, there's food here, there's food there, there's desserts. You might have desserts before you have a proper meal. And then you might have a starter after your dessert. So it's, it's only food, food, food. Korea decided to take Abdul Haq's advice and not worry about the order in which she did her tastings. But she persuaded herself to eat the sweet temptations only with her eyes until she tried the pizza. So it's said to be the best pizza here, a deep fried pizza. I'd love to have a taste. Ah, amazing. Thank you very much. Let's give it a try, shall we? Taking something so good and then deep frying it makes it even better. This is really good. Thank you very much. After the appetizer, Korea went in search of some seafood. So I heard that this is the best place to get prawns at the Halal Food Expo. Let's give it a taste, shall we? Hi. How are you doing? Good and you. This looks amazing. Thank you very much. Look, Look at how yummy that looks. I'm going to go dig in. So it looks amazing. It's deep fried breaded prawns with a little halloumi, uh, a Thai coleslaw, and then their signature sauce. So let's give it a try, shall we? Let's see. It feels really, really good. Visitors were truly spoiled for choice with the samples on offer, and Korea spotted a well known blogger and chef discussing some sweetmeats. Zaida, it's amazing to have you on Mela. Tell me, this is a beautiful event. What kind of makes it so special? I particularly love this event because it's a chance for Muslim food trucks and Muslim home industry businesses to get together, get exposure. And for me personally, it's also for me to put my name out there. I love interacting with all these people and getting to know people from my community. How has the halal food industry grown over the last couple of years? You know, when I studied to be a chef, there were not many Muslim chefs and it was a big thing. In the past few years, I see it's really taken off and I'm so excited about it. There's a healthy appetite for innovation in the world of food, like this fresh steak on the takeaway. These look amazing. What do we have today? Well, our signature thing at the moment are these cake jars. So it's cake and buttercream in a jar. You eat it with a spoon, you cover it with a little scarf in a shape. No, nice and easy to eat. Well, that sounds amazing and I would absolutely love to try one of your Cookie Monster cakes. Please, let me give you one. And there's a lid. It's you can buy into it, and you can just close it if you can't finish it. And I've got a jar at home. Yeah, you can reuse it. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was much. so nice meeting you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Visitors had ample opportunity to enjoy halal food in all its incredibly varied traditions and styles, including vegetarian dishes. And apart from the portions and samples tasting delicious, the presentation was picture perfect. What are we cooking today? So today Meanwhile, cooking. Zaida had invited Kriya to join her in presenting a live demonstration with Eastern-style chicken tacos on the menu. Contemporary chefs and cooks have embraced gastronomic ideas from around the world while ensuring that the ingredients and preparations satisfy Islamic dietary requirements. Okay. Let's give it a go. This might be a little awkward, but let's see. I definitely like the taste of the chicken and the way that you have the flavor coming through, the sour cream and the salsa, 
really gives this dish a very bold, exciting flavor to it. Well done. Thank you so much. It's amazing. You should definitely try this at home.